2010, they had the Rockefeller Foundation script a plan to introduce martial law and a permanent method for total control of the citizenry. In this plan that they disguised as an academic scenario, as they called it, the method they would use to gain complete prison-like control of the entire population was to infect them with a devastating biological pandemic and then under the guise of protecting us from this threat they would be free to implement their final solution a prison state it's called lockstep a world of tighter top-down government control and more authoritarian leadership with limited innovation and growing citizen Pushback. In 2012, the pandemic that the world had been anticipating for years finally hit. Unlike 2009's N1H, uh, H1N1, uh, this new influenza strain uh, originating from wild geese, even the most pandemic prepared nations were quickly overwhelmed when the virus streaked around the world, infecting nearly 20% of the global population and killing 8 million in just seven months, the majority of them healthy young adults. The pandemic also had a deadly effect on economies. You, you, can, see the, you can see the agenda just naked, raw, naked control agenda written down, and it's anybody's guess how this becomes effectuated in real life. So whether this is written specifically as marching orders or whether people take it upon themselves in the intelligence networks to say, okay, well, this has been produced, so this is the plan here. But these narratives have to be written in advance. Okay, the pandemic also had a deadly effect on economics. International mobility of both people and goods screeched to a halt. Uh, which is what they want. They want a completely isolated world, right? Debil debilitating industries like tourism and breaking global su supply chains. Well, and they want you at home, in your house, in front of the TV. Then they got you. Because once you watch the TV, they, they own your soul. Even locally, uh, normally bustling shops and offices sat empty for months.